Let's learn laid back lessons. So I was told that this book was banned here in Canada because this is the most unillegal thing you can do here. But I finally got a copy of the book because this technically doesn't exist here. So let me quickly tell you all about the 10 secrets Revenue Canada doesn't want you to know. I want to begin with transparency. I'm not a licensed financial advisor yet, and of course this is only applicable in Canada. This is what I learned and read from the book. The book may be outdated, but the information is still useful. Here are the 10 secrets. When you invest in an RRSP, your tax bracket shrinks, therefore you have to pay less taxes and the return you receive from that investment is not taxable. But every time you withdraw from RRSP, it is taxed. So it's better to just be taxed once, not twice. When Canadians receive their checks, their employer typically paid for their taxes already. But not every employer cares and they're not perfect. So they'll definitely make mistakes by overpaying. CRA will see this happen, but they'll keep their mouths shut because it was done by accident. So they hold on to that amount and the interest will come in. At the end of the year, you can apply for a refund. They'll happily do it. But the growth of the money already happened. But CRA will keep all that. Interest is the charge against the money that is offered to the borrower. Dividend is a percentage of the profit that is given to the shareholders. The company will have a tax benefit with interests, but with dividends, there is no tax benefit for distributing dividends. Essentially, interests are taxed much higher than dividends. Dividends can possibly be completely tax-free. There are no capital gains on your home. If there is a profit from when you purchased the home to when you sell it, you will receive no tax. Now, just start a YouTube channel where you talk about how to flip houses. Give only what you have to and nothing more. And <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Deduct all business and investment losses. Take advantage of child tax benefit. Loan money to your children for their post-secondary education fund. Pay your spouse's taxes. There are many more ways, but I won't get into it. This sort of contradicts what I said prior, but at least here, you have the choice as to where your money goes and you're not being taken advantage of. When you donate, you become entitled to earn tax credit. For the first $200 of donation, you will receive a 15% tax credit. All provinces have different rates that are between 4% to 24%. If you're making a first donation after 2007, you will receive an additional 25% of the first $1,000 in donation made available to you. Doesn't that feel good? Offshore investing is a great estate planning tool. No probate, legal fees, or estate taxes because it is technically not under your name. Then whomever is assigned to take it at the time of death will simply receive the ownership Offshore financial centers are not taxed and some places just have no income tax. It's volatile, but high risk, high reward, am I right? Get the bread for the homies. CRA allows insurance companies to provide a life insurance product that allows Canadians to deposit any amount of money. This will shelter the growth of the investment from income tax. CRA will let insurance companies do this under certain rules. Insurance companies need to keep a minimum amount of life insurance to keep it tax exempt. This is why the rich use the insured retirement plan for investment. This is also prone to money laundering. It's like the casino. Once you put the money in, it becomes clean. Owning a business will provide you a lot of deductions. If you have a home-based business, part of all your expenses can now be claimed as deductions. Of course, anything business related. Start making it rain for the boys. Just plan it out, man. You have time to plan a vacation, your picnic, and a heist with the boys. So why don't you just have time to plan out your finances? And if you do, it's almost always for that sales that happen every year anyway. Get a financial planner and they'll give you a detailed plan to get this all sorted for you. 
Now that you know the 10 secrets to unillegally evade taxes in Canada, go get that bread. <laughs>